Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the f amazing, unbelievable, incendiary Trevor's head. They are standing right in front of you and I am right here. Nice to see you all. We have actually come out to the Devonshire Arms, the Dev in Camden to see these guys. And you've probably already seen the video. So here's the f***ing interview with the most amazing stoner rock band out there right now. Blowing up the scene, blowing smoke in my face. Let's find out what they have to say. Guys, what do you have to say about the show tonight? I it's think it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it's damn yeah. good, man. Yeah. yeah. And how does this show compare to shows in general for you guys? <laughs> it's, um, it's tighter, it's smaller, it's more compact. It's yeah, more it's, lovable. It's always people, nice when there's there a people. full yeah. bunch of sweaty people oh. crammed in a room. It's Would you rather like the sweaty people? Mm. Oh, I like yeah. to lick them. Oh, on your own. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we need to get into the serious questions, guys. The meat. The really serious stuff. <laughs> What's that? Mm. What kind of jello do you like? I'm vegetarian, so. Uh, I'll make you some jello. We got vegetarian shit at work. Oh, well, well. In we that got case. raspberry, yeah. we got orange. I sometimes combine the two. Ooh, and then. Orange. Oh, the, uh, man, yeah, the kids love it, though. Very they, nice, they love very that nice. jello. Is that like Luke? No. Jello. No. It's jelly. You're thinking of KY jelly. You're thinking of KY jelly. I do like the strawberry version of that. Right, so let's get into the actual really interesting stuff. Their record came out very recently, so my head on shit. Let's get into the real stuff now. Their so my head on straight. <laughs> that, that's actually good. That's going to really help. Me. All right, and now getting into the real stuff. Their record came out how long ago? Oh, Six months, maybe? Yeah. Six uh, months ago. We're a little bit late to the f***ing party here, but it's still that good that we're going to be talking about it. It is Soma Holiday. I've got it right. Finally got it right. Soma Holiday. It came out on APF Records. Guys, tell us about the experience. How has it been actually releasing through a label? What's the response been like? Yeah, it's been great. It's been fantastic, man. APF. Fieldy is a f***ing just like the most lovely, genuine fella like you, you can ever hug to have back in you. Like He's dead into the music that he's actually releasing. He's, he's just sound man, and yeah, a lot of people have said it's pretty good. So yeah, like yeah. We, we had a blast yeah. recording it, and uh, yeah, no, it's just good to good to hear some nice feedback, get some good shows off the back of it. Uh, yeah, it's going well. And we're Fantastic. meeting lots of other bands through the label as well, who are you know becoming little uh, little band mates and all that. Yeah. Oh, little it's band good. It's, it's like a little family of. Stoners. It's great. <laughs> okay, so here now we're going to dive into the really important stuff. Guys, tell me, greatest influencers? Oh, that's, that, 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 that's, a, that's a tough one. That would take a bit <laughs> of thinking about. Yeah. Um, uh, the basics. You go Sabbath, the blues, fucking love like punk rock, black flag, no means no. Fucking, come on. I else? suppose I take a lot of the proggy influences, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm your like tool. A, I mean, he loves it. Pog King Crimson, yes, yeah, all Crimson. that sort of shit. King Love Crimson, it. yes, the classics, Genesis, yes. Yeah, I think no, between, no. between us, we cover most things. Like, I like a bit of pop stuff that they hate me putting on in the car, like, you know. <laughs> it's like, like a bit, me when the mood strikes we're, we're, we're Only on Christmas, a, but yeah. Like, <laughs> got quite a balanced, uh, Genre based yeah, man, amongst us all. We, we skank every now and then. Like, there's spots yeah, that we all like. cross over on. I mean, like, you know, there's, it, he thinks I listen to some absolute garbage you sometimes. Like, but well, I think we know. all think that each other listen to some garbage, <laughs> but then we, we all come, we all convene in the middle and like a, a, like a trifecta of, of bell ends. Bell ends. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what it takes. <laughs> that is what it takes, ladies and gentlemen, to make that amazing a record it is out on itunes spotify all the good places right now and you should definitely go and buy a copy because it supports these guys it supports the label it supports real music and that's what we are all about here at the new green whistle show the best place to buy it though by the way yes best place is that a gig that is really come the best the place come to the show support live music this is what it's all about the biggest question that we are asking nowadays is how social media is affecting life as a band because it is harder than ever to get recognized, it's harder than ever to get spotted, to be found. So guys, tell me, what is the strategy? How does it feel to be in this kind of scenario where you're not just playing live anymore, you're promoting on Facebook, you're promoting on Instagram, you're promoting on Twitter perhaps as well. Everything counts nowadays to get people down to the gigs. 
what's the plan? How does it work for you guys? Well, the big word is content, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. You got to have stuff out all the time. I mean, we've always lived on the the principle of just do gigs, do gigs, 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 and then people will notice you, you know. And you you you, you hone your art, <laughs> and also people hopefully notice you and turn up to the next gig because they've seen your, your name somewhere. They might not know who you are, but they're like, Chevers Head, I recognise that. Uh. It's that extra stage of word of mouth, isn't it? Like, social media is, is the extension of that, you know, like, so it's not necessarily people actually speaking in person saying, oh, have you heard such and such band? But they might, you know, they might put a link up on their wall and say, oh, I've just heard this album, it's fucking great. You know, it's, it's good to sort of have that in the background as well as, you know, like pushing your own content. I think a big, a big thing... That, that has helped us as well is just getting involved with people and actually going down to shows and, and meeting people and socialising on on uh, not a band scale and just you know Man, making yeah, friends with people the scene is and great. then like there, there's a massive scene of people that and everyone's coming together it's great like and everyone's supporting each other and that's key to yeah. everyone's success and hopefully it'll just push it even more you know yeah. now. As you have seen the video, you know that all three of these guys are singing in the band. They are all writing songs, contributing. This is a real collective of musicians. This isn't just one person living the dream with some other ugly people sitting behind them. Well, this is, that. well, I mean, the ugliness, fine, whatever, you know. <laughs> can only do what we can do. But these guys are really equals in this band. It's something truly, truly amazing to see. Not something you see every day. Guys, can you tell us a little bit about how you come about songs? How, what's the process creatively? Whoever has the best idea, we go with it. And how do you decide the best idea? Because it's notoriously uh, difficult. It's, um, it's, it's we ask the audience. Always, can't oh, always be a... Hello, audience. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's a it's one now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I a friend here. Come in and say hello. Log one, it's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> <What's going> on? <laughs> okay, right, we're going to bring this to a bit of a close. Things have descended into a little bit of madness here, but thank you so much for watching. This has been the new Green Whistle Show, and before we go, we got one last question for the boys. Greatest villains? Your favourite villain? <laughs> Don Fav oh, you put him on the spot there. Put go on. you in the spot. Don Quixote do Flamingo from One Piece. What's this greatest villain? He's a piece of One shit. Piece. He's brilliant. I love him. Go on. I go kind on. of like um, the bad dude from Point Break. Ooh. What's his name? Brody. I can't remember. What I haven't seen it. Brody. What's your favourite yeah. villain? He's a bit of a villain, isn't he? Villain. You're a bit of a fucking oh. villain. That's the first, the first one that popped into my head, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, Hook's pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Hook! <laughs> Ooh, Captain Hook! <laughs> Broly. Broly? Yes, my man. Yes. Broly. <laughs> well, there you have it. It's been an amazing interview. We could re literally talk forever here, and I'm sure we will be talking again very, very soon, including talking to their labels. So make sure you stick around, subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. Let us know what you want to hear from the next interview. Till next time, thank you very much, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. So you guys are a band or something? <laughs>